Hey fellow collectors, today we're going to be talking about DC Comics Icons Superman with Keelix. Now, Keelix is never mentioned anywhere on the side of the box, the back. So you just know that this is um, from the comics. So, as we see here as a side, here it has Superman. On the back, we see DC Comics Icons, the four sculpts from the wave. If we turn it on, we see Superman, the Man of Steel, DC Collectibles, and the Superman icon. So, let's get this sucker out of the box. take them out of the box I'll go ahead and weigh them and we see the box and the contents come at 8.4 ounces okay now that I have them out of the box you can see the Keelix wants to fall down it's a very uh, balancing act with this guy it's not uh, easy at all definitely have to have a level ground for him now Superman does come with a set of extra hands and there we go. So we'll see that one. There it is again. So first we'll go ahead and take a look at Superman. Superman is in his iconic outfit here that has not changed in quite a while. See the red and blue outfit. The boots. Now the cape is nice and rubbery and it does have the Superman logo on the back. Or sorry, the House of L. Now his, his, this figure can look up and down, but that's as much up as it can look. So kind of bad for if he wants to fly, um, you don't get him to look up. But he can look down, he can look left and right. As far as the T-pose goes, uh, he does um, do that much of a T-pose. He does have bicep swivels. A double bend but since he has muscles you can't really get that far from him. and it looks a little weird when you extend out because his muscles don't um, fit in with his arm so it, it definitely looks a little weird to have him displayed like that so definitely well it's better if you have the hands like that and the wrists do rotate all the way around now, Superman does have a nice ab crunch. And he has a bend at the abs. I'm not seeing one at the waist because of the ab funk crunch. Uh, the ab crunch function. He does have a nice split capability. And his legs go this much forward and back. He does have a double bend and the way that the ankle is designed, it can move about freely. So this figure is not as tall as some of the other lines. You can definitely see where the icons, they went with a different sculpt instead of the, the universe line. Now if I can get him to stand up, he didn't want to stand up right now. Okay, there we go. So Superman comes in at just over six inches. You can see here, just under a quarter, between a quarter and a full six. So we'll put Superman aside and we'll bring in Keelix. Now, this is cool to have, um, especially if you're a Superman fan and the, the Justice I'm um, sorry, the Hall of Solitude, Superman's home, away from home. You can see here the figure has um, no face, just has this red dome on it. There's the nice details, and you see the arms are a little weird. Now, as far as articulation,
There we go. That's your articulation. Um, also, the head rotates around. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, a little disappointing. Uh, he does come with this stand so he can float, which is a nice touch. And the other thing is you've got to make this guy balance. Because if you have one hand out, he will definitely fall over. So it's a little sad that you can't really have him doing much other than just floating there with his hands out. Now, as we set these guys back, oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Set them back. We'll bring in Duke. You see that they do line in a little bit with Duke. Duke is just a little taller than Superman. So is Deadpool. Now if I bring in a DC Multiverse Batman, we can see that he definitely is taller than all of them around. So we'll not embarrass him any further. So final thoughts on this. Yeah, um, the icons uh, was good for his time. They were a little bit um, different than the DC Universe classics or the DC um, direct lines. So they went in different directions. Um, they didn't make a lot for the, the icon series, but they did have the designer series and a couple other series that... Eh, the Superman is... Uh, like I say, the biceps are weird. The fact that he can't look up. It, it's just one of those figures that'll be just standing there. Helix, I love him, but I wish you could make that stand work a little bit more. Um, maybe if there was a bigger base for it or something like that, it would work better. The fact that it's just so small, eh, it doesn't allow him to do much other than just hover there also. So... If, if you get a chance to get these, um, they are a little expensive. I don't know why, because the new versions are so much better. So if you get a chance, it's up to you. I would uh, skip it in the future. But that's up to you. As always, guys, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.